And we're back, here at the last resting place of Hackneer Deathbrand. It's very bright here, actually, isn't it? Right, so, we've got his weapons, we've got his armour. Um, his weapons, I'm a, I don't know. I'm not saying they're not good, because they are, but... Dual, dual wield, I'm just, I'm not convinced. A lot of people have said, oh, you should try dual wield. I've never been a fan of dual wield in any of the uh, playthroughs I've had. I've, I've played two-handed, I've played, I've even played one-handed with an empty hand. That's actually very cool. Uh, but never, never dual wield. I've never quite got it figured out. Because it, to me, doesn't seem that much faster than just... If I just hit with one hand, I'm just hitting with one hand now. Now if I hit with two hands, just alternate it. It seems to be about the same... I, I, I don't see any sort of advantage. Now, you dual wield, you do these dual wield moves when you... You hit with both keys. And I'm guessing it's kind of like a flurry of attack, extra damage. But the problem I have with that is when you move and do that, it stops you. So you probably do tons of damage, which is great, but you're a stationary target. And with Sky reinstalled, being a stationary target seems a really stupid move. Whereas when, when sword and board, I can hit, move, block, and so on. I mean, you can't even block, and I really worry about not being able to block. I like blocking. And uh, more than anything, more than blocking, I like shield bash. I think shield bash is massively overpowered, to be honest. Um, I mean, in Sky Read, the idea is you're supposed to wait until the opponent attacks and then block and get a timed block. I don't even bother. You just walk up and go. <laughs> it's like just instantaneous stunning. So I'm not completely convinced. But the armor of Deathbrand favors people using dual wield. And that armor is nice. I mean, the, the, especially if I uh, increase the uh, quality of it. I oh, do like this room. Because, um, yeah, I mean, it is very nice armor. The, the problem is, I'm an archer. And I really could do with armor that emphasizes archery. I mean, if you look at... Yeah, the hide braces of archery. I don't know. 20% more bow damage. That's that's quite a lot. In fact, I've often thought what I should actually do is take the the hood off and wear this one. The problem is is without the hood, if you look at look at my armor rating, 277, and it's supposed to only add 67 when I add the helm, but it actually adds closer to what was it? 100 and 277 to 290. I mean it's 120 almost, 119 it adds, whereas this is 30% extra bow damage. I mean, now I'm actually doing a lot of damage on bow. Mind you, that doesn't keep me warm either. I mean, honestly, at the moment, this this seems like the most powerful equipment setup for this character. So, 50% extra bow damage. That is nice. God, I'm lost. However, the big problem is that does not keep me warm. <laughs> I want to keep warm, it's gold. What I what I think I need actually is that the mod that I've said this before, the mod that allows you to wear circlets with other hats. Um I think I need that. And then a nice furry hood like this to keep warm. So yes, yeah, so I'm still not convinced with the death brand. It, it and it isn't just the fact that it looks goofy. Is it dark? It's very dark. It's the fact that the stats seem to favour someone who gets hit a lot and dual wields, and that is not, not me. Anyway, on we go. Right, one thing while I'm out here, the, the locked door. The, <laughs> if you remember, last episode I had some trouble getting through this door because it, it said, you need a key, and yet whenever I activated it, it wouldn't let me in. I found the problem. In mod configuration, I got a lock picking overhaul, and deactivate the mod, I could open the door. 
I loaded up the old save and checked it. So it is that, and then you can reactivate it again. So it is a bug in the lock picking overhaul mod. Not the end of the world. I am going to try and pass a message on to the mod author, see if he can fix it. But it is not the end of the world if if something like that happens again, I can just check, switch that off, and get through the door. Some people thought I wasn't activating the door. Despite the foul beams yeah, yeah, yeah. that infest Some people thought, <laughs> people were going, no, no, just click the C button and it'll open it. You've got the key. Why aren't you clicking the C button? Yeah, I was. I was activating the door all the time. <laughs> people thinking I was looking at it going, oh, I can't go in. It's locked and I don't have the key. And then looking here and going, but I've got the key. Why won't it open without trying the door handle? Um, you guys have got a really low opinion of me. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. So I've got a horse. And I've got to take him back. But here's something I'm not sure if any of you know. If you ride a horse through water, you don't get wet. It's a little cheating, to be honest. <laughs> but I've got to take the horse with me. I have to take the horse with me. I can't leave him behind. Because we're going home. We're going home, boys and girls. If tell the Are you coming? Teldrin? There you go. I know it's been such a long time since I actually... Where is it? There we go. It's been such a long time since I've ridden a horse. I've forgotten all the keys for things like harvesting. Right, so we're just going to go south towards Neloth's place. I want to go and chat to that steward. So, oh, wolves, wolves. One of the uh, one of the mods I would like to try is oh oh stuck behind us. Is a mod that actually changes hunting. It actually allows you... Whoa! Rebel. It changes... Um, when you when you kill things like wolves, you can skin them for extra pelts and fur and so on. Richard's not quite the kind of ranger hunter character he used to be, but he's, um, you know... I, I need the furs for crafting. Oh, you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to tell my horse to fall. How do I do that? Excuse me a second. Ah! Yes. It's trying to remember all of these commands. It's been quite some time since... I mean, if you think about it, since chapter one, really. Chapter two started with me making my way. I think I was here, here by about episode four, so... God... Been a long time in Solstein. You guys come in? Oh, look at that look. Dwemer Ruin. Oh, I'm getting massive nostalgia pangs again of, of seeing the um the Dwemer Ruins in Morrowind for the first time. Um, I can't even remember what it was called. The one that was right outside I can't even remember what the initial city was. Not city, but you start off by a dock. You go, you go in. You get given a quest to see the leader of the of the agent of the blades, and you go off and you see that guy in a city. I can't even remember what that city was called, but right near that city was a Dwemer ruin, and I just had a flashback to that moment going over that bridge. God, so much nostalgia. I, I mean, if you guys have not played Morrowind, if there's anyone here who's not played it. It is a very annoying game to play now because the engine has some fundamental flaws. Especially things like the, the combat, the melee combat. But it's still worth it. It is it is still an absolutely brilliant game. So well done. The story is great. The atmosphere is phenomenal. And don't get me wrong, Dragonborn is a great DLC. I've got my money's worth and then some out of this. It really is, it's... I like the fact that it's an extra land, it's got a lot of extra hours of play in it. It's much better than... Um, Dawnguard. Much better than Dawnguard. But, 
for all its glory, and for all the fact that it's a massive nostalgia pang, it's not Morrowind. It just doesn't... Everyone, there's, there's, there's a lot of you don't know what I'm talking about now, but there's a lot of you that do. There's, there's some of you played Morrowind, you know what I'm saying. There's just something about that game. Anyway, anyway, I'm, I know, I'm getting massively nostalgic, but it's because I'm leaving. I'm leaving. You get like that when you're leaving somewhere. Last sightseeing. We're going to see the Stuart. We're going to go and see the Stuart. Neloth's Stuart. Where was the Stuart? Would he be in the kitchen? Sarah? That was not him. I'm sort of scared to speak to anyone else, actually, in case they give me a quest and I get sidetracked again. I'm just, you know, I'm so ready to go now. <laughs> I sort of, oh, I just want to run straight to the boat, get on the stu stu Stuart's house. Locked. Uh, where is he, then? Is it late at night or something? Oh, 6.43 p.m. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I find him in here. Someone else is using this. Thanks for that. So, Stuart, Stuart, no. I prepare the staff maker like you asked. Good, good. As soon as I'm done here, I'll. No. Try May I keep this one? We'll see. If the power levels aren't too high. I don't think I want to find the steward. The steward's going to be in his house, isn't he? I've got to get in there. Oh, he's locked the door as well. <sighs> Can I break into there? Would it, does it? Does it classify as a crime? I think I think it has to have a red note on the door. So when you go to the door, it says something like "pick lock" in Got red, doesn't it? About everybody in here. Hello. Give a holler if you have any questions. Yeah, where's the steward? Actually, maybe that is a. We're one of the same kind. Do you, you need any help? Oh. I'm glad to have met you. How about some vampire dust? Bring me some of that, and I'll pay handsomely. All right, no, I'm not bringing you My vampire dust. Cloak you. Oh. See, now I remember why I left my horse behind so often. Follow, the follow thing's kind of cool, but it, it's also... It can be annoying. I think what you have to do is tell them to stop follow, following. Oh no, that was that's the main hall. Go away. Alright, let's risk it. Let's risk it. I want to have a word with this guy anyway. Oh, you know what though? i tell you what I do want to do. Let's think about this. I want to remove the immersive mode. Because when I come across a door like this, I want to actually have the option. <laughs> oh, he's in here. Dravas. Do you owe an annoying orc uh, well, some money? Sort of. No, there's no sort of you either do or, or you don't. A thousand septums, but not anymore. He doesn't dare try to collect now that I'm Nailot's steward. Right, except yeah. Wow, sorry about that. He's never gonna stop, you know. He'll keep sending thugs after you until either you pay him or kill him. Well, how about you pay off your debts? Pay him? Why? I mean, I don't because you owe him the money. Well, I might soon. <laughs> Neelot does pay well, but the important thing is, I don't have it. In fact, it's not likely I'll ever have it. Expenses, you know. Sorry about the thugs and Mogrel and everything. Oh, uh, you're right, give me the money. I don't see why. It's your problem now. You what? Uh, <sighs> Neelot is a real taskmaster. Oh. 
Really? That's a shame. I'll ever learn to make it properly. No, you probably should go back to your old job. Talk to more. Oh. Until next time. So when it, you're gonna let this guy kill me? He's not gonna kill me because he's he's a wuss and he sends wusses after me. But you're gonna let him? Oh, what a character you are, you. Oh, let's go talk to Mogril and. Oh, can I convince Neloth to? I probably can't, can I? Just say, by the way, can you fire your steward so we can send him back to Ravenrock and have him beaten up? Oh, very annoying. All right, let's go back to Ravenrock, talk to Mogril, see if there's any way I can threaten him or. It says kill him. It did actually say kill him, didn't it? How am I supposed to kill him without getting a bounty in Ravenrock? And here's the other big question. If I don't kill him, or I don't pay off the money, is he going to send bandits all the time? Like, like even in Skyrim? Because if so, that's going to get annoying. If they're not difficult to kill. But And here's the other thing. It's a thousand gold, right? He owes a thousand gold. I've killed, what, 15 of these thugs? Surely he's, he, it's costing him more to hire all these thugs than it is that he's going to get back. Excuse me. I feel chilly. I'll tell you what I do feel. I feel lost. Where am I going? What? Is that the camp? Yet another sight of my failure. Because as somebody else pointed out, had Richard not paid that madman all the money he did, all these miners and guards would still be alive. So yeah, Richard now feels even more guilty. Oh! Oh dear. So yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> right, alright, we are... Oh, right, yeah, can't take the horse in to there. Y you can actually get the horse in and out via, via the back way. Not much contact with others around here. Let's go and have a word with Mogdal before we go. Roly, don't forget Roly. We're going to take Roly and park him somewhere. We want to take you back to Skyrim. You'll like Skyrim. You're a robot, you probably don't care. I work Excuse for Mogul. You got a problem, you talk to him. That's what I'm doing. You see me talking to him? That's what I'm doing. Don't tell me to do what I'm already doing. It's annoying. I'll give you this warning only once. Stay out of my way, and we'll do just fine. Uh, not going to do that, and I'm going to do just fine regardless, because you are a wimp. You hear that? That's a Breton calling you a wimp. Because you know what? You're a wimp. <sighs> Tired of running? I knew you were weak. Now come. Oh, God! <sighs> How about half I can intimidate him? How about nothing and I intimidate him? Why can't I go drop dead or... I mean, oh. I'm, I'm. I am not paying you half. I am not paying you a penny. You have my permission to go and kick the living daylights out of the steward. But I am not paying you. I've already said this one, haven't I? Take your best shot, Fetcher. But if you draw on me, the guards will put a bounty on your head, <sighs> not mine. It's true. It's true. It's true. <sighs> The only like turn into a werewolf and eat him. Do I get a bounty if I if I run into town, specifically kill one person as a werewolf and then run out? It's very, 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 very tempting indeed. Citizen. <sighs> Hello. No, fine. Come on. 
It's time to go. Hello, Adriel. You, you can. It's okay. to the darkness, my friend. You succeeded where I failed by ending the threat to Councillor Morvane's life. I shall not forget it. Okay, well, anyway, I'm just saying bye. That basically. I'm pleased I was mistaken about you, sir. I'm pleased as well. What do you mean, what do you mean, mistaken about me? What, what were you thinking about me? I don't know what you did in those mines. Good grief. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? I'm just... The I don't know what to say to these people. To flow because of okay, your bye. Discovery. Just checking, just checking to see if you had any last words, any last, you know, hey... Right now, I'm off. And don't take this the wrong way, guys. I am not going to miss any of you. Nope. Oh, nice weather, actually. Need something? I would like to go home. My ship's ready to sail. If you brought enough gold. I've got lots of gold, and I don't care what it costs. It's worth right, every then. septum of it. Let's be off. Yes, please. Oh. Alright, well it's not exactly a sunny day, but it is Skyrim. Okay, first thing to do, let's find a Sorry, but they're not looking to hire any nice hat. Right let's find a room, spend the night, wait till daytime. See this, Teldrin? Real buildings made with bricks rather than mud and ash. Of course, the next big question is what on earth am I to do now? Gotta get back to saving Skyrim now that I've taken care of the cultists who've um, been trying to kill me. Oh. Die? What? Vampires! Uh oh, I'm soul trapping people. Didn't mean to do this. Okay. That can't be good. 